Hey, Mike with Vanco Care here. And could you use more clients for your daycare or childcare program? Well, in today's video, I'll be walking you through 10 daycare marketing strategies to get new clients fast. So let's get into it. So there are a lot of ways to market your daycare center or childcare program. And the reality is most of them can work when you work them consistently. And so the first daycare marketing strategy you wanna implement is running Facebook ads for your daycare center. This is a great option when you're just getting started as you'll be able to target locally and promote your daycare business on a limited budget. When you're setting up your Facebook ads, you can target by zip code or a radius around a specific city. On top of that, you can filter your targeting to only target people that are parents Another great feature with Facebook ads is that you can target parents that have children of specific age ranges. So if you're trying to reach parents early and have more of a long-term client, that could be a great strategy to utilize to bring in your ideal customers. Now there's a lot of different options as well that you can do with Facebook ads. You can run lead generation campaigns, you can drive traffic to your website, and the list goes on and on. So if you're looking to target locally and reach a lot of parents fast, running Facebook ads can be a great strategy to market your daycare business. The second daycare marketing strategy is to run Google ads. Now Google ads can sometimes be a bit more expensive than Facebook ads because you're diving into search-based targeting versus interest-based targeting like Facebook. So with search-based targeting, you'll be able to choose specific keywords that your ideal customers are likely using. So it could be things like daycare center near me, childcare near me, preschool near me, and various things like that. And so typically when people are using those search terms, they're of a buying mindset and they're looking for a childcare program to hire. And so you can put up your advertisements targeting those specific people. And so this can be a great way to get more exposure for your business. In some cases, it could be a bit more expensive, but usually the conversion rates tend to be higher because people are actively searching for daycare or using search terms that are related to childcare versus maybe something like Facebook ads where you're targeting parents that may or may not already be interested in hiring a daycare service. The cost per click could potentially get pretty high on these ads, so something to keep in mind, but it is a great way to market your daycare business. The third daycare marketing strategy is to promote your daycare business in different online groups. One of the most popular ones being Facebook groups. Now the cool thing about Facebook groups is that there's all shapes and sizes. And in a lot of cases, you can target specific cities and search for parent groups or mom groups in that city. And so you'll have to consult the rules of the specific group, but a lot of times you're able to connect and network with people in these groups, potentially even post about your daycare services, or it can be a great place to share helpful information which can lead to people engaging with your content and then you can naturally bring up your daycare services when it makes sense. You might even consider starting your own Facebook group and inviting people that you've networked with from these other mom and parent groups, which has the potential to create a steady flow of leads for your daycare business. The fourth marketing strategy is to use Google My Business. Now Google My Business and creating a Google My Business page is a great way to get free exposure for your childcare program or daycare center. And so when you set up a Google My Business page, it's kind of like your online storefront through Google. It gives people a way to find your business when they're searching on Google Maps. And some tips to optimize this, number one is to choose the right category for your business. There's a lot of different options in the childcare space. For example, you can choose daycare center as your primary category. You could do family daycare service, preschool, or even childcare agency. So choose the one that fits your daycare center best. And then you can also include subcategories for other ones that match what you offer. On top of that, you wanna make sure you fully fill out your profile and get it verified. So this means filling out descriptions of your business, linking to your website, listing the hours your daycare center does business. And when you do this, it also gives you the opportunity to get positive reviews on your daycare center and daycare business. And so having that social proof can go a long way to help you attract new customers. Plus, when you have a lot of reviews and a great star rating, Google tends to showcase those businesses first on Google Maps. So again, this can tap into that traffic for people searching for things like daycare near me, childcare near me, and much more. So definitely set up a Google My Business page for your daycare center if you haven't already. All right, the fifth marketing strategy is to develop and build a website. This could probably be one of the earlier steps for you, but having your own website is a great way to get additional exposure for your daycare business. It adds credibility to your business, 
and when it looks professional, it reflects well on your business. So even if you're out there networking with people, spreading via word of mouth, or advertising via other methods we've already talked about, having a quality website can just add credibility to your business and can lead to improved conversions as well. You can showcase things like client testimonies and value-based content through a blog to attract more people to your website. And when you optimize your SEO, this can happen 24 seven and can create a steady stream of leads for your daycare center. So if you don't yet have a website, definitely focus on setting one up as soon as you can. The next daycare marketing strategy is setting up a referral program. Now, when you focus on providing quality service, taking great care of the children in your center or program, and keeping parents happy, it gives people a reason to refer your program. At the same time, when you incentivize that referral, it can lead to even more business faster. Now, something to keep in mind, you wanna offer something that makes sense. You don't want to go so far above and beyond to get a referral that it costs you money. One great strategy could be to offer gift cards. So it could be for restaurants, for date nights for parents. It could be Starbucks to get coffee to keep them energized or things like grocery stores or retail stores where they can get supplies for their children. The list can go on and on. Or you might offer discounts on services or free services for a limited time depending on how many referrals someone sends to your daycare business. It doesn't have to be overly complex, but just having a referral program in place and reminding your existing clients about it can be a great way to drive more customers to your business. Another great marketing strategy for your daycare business can be hosting events. And so there's different options that you can do for this. You can host online events, maybe through things like Meetup. You can have an open house for your daycare center, inviting new parents to the area to check out what you have. You also might consider hosting classes, teaching new parents helpful information about raising their kids. So maybe it's helpful tips on preparing for nap time or how to create meals your kids will actually eat. Or maybe it's events like a live book reading of children's books that parents can bring their kids to. The list really can go on and on, but hosting these events and getting new parents to check out your center and to meet you in person and introduce them to your staff can be a great way to attract new customers to your daycare center. The next marketing strategy is to use YouTube to promote your daycare center. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but in general, a great way to promote your daycare center on YouTube is by providing helpful content in video form. And so if you're already writing blogs on your website, if you're hosting events and live classes, and some of those could be translated into video or recording those sessions, if you feel like that would be valuable, those can be great things to upload to your YouTube channel. When people see your daycare center as an expert in the industry, in the space, they're more likely going to want to do business with you. And so at the end of your YouTube videos, you can simply include a call to action or basically tell people to reach out to you for more information or to give you a call to request an estimate, whatever the case might be. Drive those people that are watching your YouTube videos back to your center and encourage them to become customers and to learn more. YouTube also has the benefit of SEO, which means that once you put out content, if it's related to search terms that your ideal customers and parents are searching for, your YouTube videos can eventually come up again and again, generating leads for your daycare business 24 seven. So if you aren't using YouTube, it can be a powerful way to market your daycare business. And I definitely recommend it. All right, the next marketing strategy is networking. Now there's a lot of different ways you can network. As I mentioned earlier, there's things like Facebook groups, there's meetup programs, there's B and I type programs where business owners will get together and network. There's chambers of commerce in your local area. All of these different things are great places to meet new people and introduce them to your daycare business. Again, people like to do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And so focus on building relationships in these networking groups first. And you can simply mention that you own a daycare business or a child care center. And when the timing is right for those people, if you've developed that relationship first, likely they're going to come to you versus someone else for their child care needs. The final marketing strategy in today's video is using email marketing to promote your daycare center. Now building an email list is very important because it gives you a reason to follow up with and continue to connect with people that might be interested in hiring your daycare center. Now, one thing we would suggest along with this email marketing strategy is developing some type of lead magnet or an offer that someone can get access to for free in exchange for their name, email, and phone number. And so there's a lot of options for this. 
You might offer a video series or an ebook or a PDF download or a checklist. And again, you wanna make it something that's valuable that your ideal customers would actually be interested in. So maybe it's a top 10 list of best children's books for toddlers, or maybe it's a guide on how to potty train your children, or maybe it's the best ways to get your kids down for nap time. Whatever the case might be, there's a lot of options. Be creative with it, but make sure it's a valuable resource that your ideal customers actually want, and then just make them opt in or enter their name, email, and phone number before you grant access to that resource. At that point, you can have these people on your list and you can send out ongoing things like sender newsletters, invites to your upcoming open house events, send them links to your new YouTube videos that you're creating or blog posts on your websites, anything that builds value and that can help develop the relationship with these potential customers. And so when you do this on a regular basis, and focus on value-based content first, and occasionally invite people to become a customer. It can be a great way to build trust and rapport and credibility for your daycare program. And again, when the timing is right for these people that they are ready to jump on hiring a daycare service, they're usually going to come to you versus the competition. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got a lot of value out of these 10 daycare marketing strategies. Implement them as soon as you can in your daycare business and you'll certainly see more quality leads and new customers coming to your business. But let us know in the comments below if there's other strategies that you've used that have been successful for you or if you're gonna use some of these new strategies now that you've heard about them. Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to streamline, boost efficiency, and increase enrollments for your childcare program, we put together an ultimate guide on childcare management to help you optimize and automate your childcare management system. So if you'd like to download that guide, we'll have a link in the description below where you can do so. But once again, thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon.